commonly asked questions were about how you can send across your letters and stories to us. It's pretty simple. You can find an email address below. You just have to write and send it across to that email address. And the second commonly asked question was about my tea. As in the previous episode, um, they felt or rather uh, you guys felt I didn't have my black tea. It is true because it was dead cold and I just couldn't have a cold black tea. So I replaced it with green tea so that I can have it even if it's cold. So I hope you have your coffee, tea, hot chocolate, green tea, whatever you like with you because we have something interesting for you all. This is the letter number two from a wonderful lady about um, a wonderful story about the friendship. It's an instance basically. It's about something that happened to um, a wonderful group of girls. There are three girls who are buddies for over 10 years and they have been for each other. They're almost inseparable. They make time for each other. They plan, they meet. They are like, you know, stuck on to each other no matter how life has been and what life throws at them. So to go ahead and to understand the letter a little bit in detail, let me just introduce the characters involved in the scenario. So um, let me just call them red, pink and yellow. So let me talk about red. Red is a very strong, opinionated um, woman who is an IT consultant who would dare and do whatever her mind says. So she is extremely bold and powerful. Uh, she has to uh, make an opinion on most of the things and she's bold enough to make it no matter what people label her, what people think about her. So that's how Red is, a very bold woman. And she totally believes in the concept of Mr. Right. So she's in the quest of finding the Mr. Right. You know, she always believed that her right man would come, come into her life and she's going to have a fairy tale love and then a nice marriage. That is how she believed in. So that was Miss Red for you all. So then about Miss Pink. Pink is a shy um, research scholar. That means to say she is extremely intelligent, um, craving for knowledge, too much to do with books, but very creative. She can write really well. She can sketch really well. But a very understanding, mellow down, the shy woman who is always there for her friends, no matter what they plan. She is like, yes, I'm in with no, no opinions of her own. She is like, fine, you guys have decided I'm in. She's a very nice, sweet, yet a powerful woman. And the person who has written to us is Miss Yellow, who is happily married to the love of her life. And she's got two little ones. Um, most of the time, she and her husband are extremely busy and uh, since they have two kids, uh, she makes it a point to leave both the kids in her uh, neighbor's house who are very loving and uh, they have always been with her right from the time she had these babies. So she used to trust a lot and she used to leave both, the, both her children with them. And she used to always make time, you know, the me time. Most of the time, once women get married, then they forget about uh, the me time and uh, making time for themselves. So she was the main person to plan things as in what are they going to do on a weekend or on a month then or when you have offs, you know, like you have an extended weekend. What do we do during this time? So this was uh, a responsibility mainly taken by uh, Yellow because uh, Pink would anyways pitch in and Red would give her opinion. So that was mainly Yellow's job. So what happened was that one day uh, Yellow decides on going for um, a short trip uh, to a nearby farmhouse because uh, she had heard that they provide extremely delicious organic food and she wanted to taste that along with a friend and since it's a small trip you know they would have their own time so she planned that and she calls up pink and says and pink is really happy about it and she's in for the game and she's all fine with it so they go on with the discussion and they decide to call up red because red is most of the time busy so she was not responding to the call, so both of them take turns to, you know, make a call because they had to decide on so many things, as in what kind of outfit they had to wear and whose car they would be taking. Um, you know, what are the things that they can do? They just wanted to have a discussion with Red, you know, since she has got strong opinion, it is always wise to uh, talk to her and take her suggestions. So they continuously call her, but she does not seem to be responding to the calls. 
so they start wondering like uh, what could be wrong she generally doesn't do that you know she's most of the time she responds to the calls or at least she would leave a message but um, there was no news from her and after some time she makes a call to both of them and inquires what exactly went wrong and why were they calling and once she gets to know that they were having a plan discussed and what the plan was uh, she rejects the plan saying that she has a family emergency now since there's a family emergency both yellow and pink are very fine about it they're like okay if you are busy then we will just postpone it there is no point in cancelling it because they have already thought about it and they really want to go there so she decides to postpone it and then all of them agree to postpone the trip by few days so they were still planning you know what are the things that they can do and all that and after a day or two both of them both uh, yellow and pink are the only ones who have some free time because uh, only if uh, a makeup artist has an appointment she is busy or if she has a shooting schedule then she is busy otherwise she has her free time similarly a research scholar spends a certain amount of time on her data collection in the field or while she is interacting with her guide in the uh, college so she both these both are the only ones who have ample time to meet up once in a while here and there for a quick chat generally for the it consultant miss red she is busy so she has to plan like when and where and how in advance so both of them uh, miss yellow and uh, miss pink decide to go for a coffee and they meet in a coffee shop and they sit down and they discuss in length as in whether they can do something on the way because it's a short trip but there might be something interesting on the way so they decide on that they think about the possibilities of how they can you know enjoy a little more how they can fringe it up how they can pep it up like what do you say what are the things that you can carry with you what are the other plans we can do when we come back all this was going on and that is when uh, miss red calls in and they are very happy and they are in a very jovial state and they want to poke fun at her and uh, Miss Pink just picks up the call and says that you know like uh, both of them are out in a cafe so she says okay that's really good uh, Red is really happy that both of them are outside and they are together because she really wants to say something to them so she you know in a very panicky um, nervous tone apologizes to both of them by saying that you know she actually didn't have a family emergency other than that uh, she was doing um, something secretly mainly because uh, she was always um, poked fun at for her quest for finding her man right so she actually went on a date and she hid the fact from both her friends just to avoid um, all the fun and all the poking that happens but this time she was telling it in a very nervous tone in a very painful tone and she seems to be really lost and that is what makes both um, yellow and pink you know just wonder as in what exactly could have gone wrong with their Miss Red who is actually bold and who would have actually spoken in a lighter tone and a happier tone if she had ever gone on a date what could be the reason that she sounded so panicky so nervous um, about going on a date so this is what they were wondering about and they were sitting together and thinking.